Hi guys, today we're gonna start differently because it's a special moment for me and for this channel. We're gonna make a few changes here. First of all, I want to say that I'm still shocked that we lately crossed 1000 subscribers. It's really unbelievable that uh, there are so many of you already. I'm extremely happy because it means that what I'm doing here makes sense and carries some value. I want to grow and learn much more as a scale modeler and the fact that you're here watching my videos and having fun with me gives me a lot of motivation. As I said, I've made a few, let's say, channel upgrades. I've changed my logo a bit and made some overall graphic changes. Next one is my working table. It's after small modernization, so I hope it will help me to better organize my workspace. Last thing I want to share with you is that I decided to make movies only in English, but there will always be a Polish subtitles available. This is mainly because making two videos each time with different audio was really time consuming. I hope that this solution will be convenient for both me and you guys. Sorry for this long opening talk, let's finally jump into our new kit. Japanese maritime self-defense force destroyer Miyoko in 700 scale from Hasegawa. First, a few words about ship's history, design and equipment. In the second half of the 1980s, Japan decided to create a new class of missile destroyers with significantly greater combat capabilities than the previous Hatakaze class ships. It was assumed that the new destroyers would be multi-purpose and have clearly enhanced anti-air capabilities. Finally, in order to reduce costs of research and development, as well as to facilitate uh, cooperation with US Navy, the project of a new Japanese destroyers class was modeled on the American early Berg class units. Thus, the Congo-type units have the revolutionary Aegis network combat system cooperating with AN Spy-1 radar, which provided them with unprecedented possibilities to control the airspace and counter air targets. They also have vertical missile launchers, which significantly increase their combat capabilities. For legal and political reasons, the Congo-class destroyers are not equipped with the Tomahawk missiles. The third unit of this class, Miyoko DDG-175, was built at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries shipyard in Nagasaki. Miyoko is a modern Japanese missile destroyer. She was laid down on 8th of April 1993, launched on 5th October 1994 and commissioned on 14th March 1996. The total length of the ship is 161 meters and a width of 21 meters. Full displacement is about 9500 tons and the maximum speed is around 30 knots. The destroyer is armed with two VLS Mark 41 one 29 rail and the other 61 rail. Two RGM-84 Harpoon missile launchers, a 127mm Mark 45 Otomelara compact gun and two 20mm Vulcan Phalanx close-in weapon systems. The ship has a landing deck for an onboard helicopter. SH-60K, based on the Sikorsky helicopter family, is an anti-submarine patrol version. Miyoko is the third of four destroyers of the Congo class, the unit at the turn of 2008 and 2009 was modernized. She received an upgraded version of the Aegis system, version BDM 3.06, enabling the detection of ballistic missiles. It was also adapted to fire standard SM3 anti-ballistic missiles. Finally, a few interesting facts. Name Miyoko refers to the Japanese World War II heavy cruiser and the mountain in Japan of the same name. DDG Miyoko appeared in the American movie Battleship from 2012. On 2nd December 2019, Captain Miho Otani took command of JS Miyoko, making her the first woman to command a Japanese Aegis destroyer. Well, sincere congratulations, ma'am. So, the ship is quite interesting. Let's see the plastic version now. The box is quite average, I think. We can see that this is a hyper detailed version from Hasegawa Limited Edition. Nothing special on the side, so let's dive inside. First, the instructions. Unfortunately, it is in one piece in a folded form, so when unfolded, it takes up half of my desk. The manual is in English and Japanese. It includes a brief ship description, marking and painting scheme. The paints listed here are Mr. Hobby and Tamiya. As you can see, I've already marked the paints that I'm missing. The next part of the manual, photo edge parts. 
Starting with the hint how to prepare etched metal parts, we go to the detailed instructions for assembling our small plates. Hmm, it's gonna be a lot of fun with the must, I guess. Next is, let's say, plastic parts assembly, containing structure, hull and other parts installation. Final assembly and the ship is ready. Nice. There's a lot of sprues as for the 700 scale and PE parts. I realized that it would not be easy and to be honest I forgot how small parts on this scale could be. In addition we have a decals and a small brochure with symbol description from my country distributor. As for the sprues, I didn't notice any major flaws. In my opinion, they are made quite detailed for this scale, but for the details here we have photo etched parts of course. I wonder how it will be with the matching of elements, but I'm rather optimistic. I look forward to fruitful cooperation. Well, I'm personally glad to get back to the maritime themes. Once again, there is a ship from the land of the cherry blossom. I think I have some subconscious fondness for the Japanese ships. And once again, I'm gonna build a modern ship that is still in service. I didn't plan this either. So that's it for today. Finally, thanks again for being here. I hope you're gonna like the changes on the channel. Let me know what you think about all of this. If you are new to the channel, then hello. My name is Marius and I try to assemble models. Maybe you can try it too. Please consider to subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up if you like this video and we will see each other in the next one. See ya!